Hey Collective, this is Angel with Angel Spiritual Messages. And let me tell you guys something. I am so sick and tired of hearing tarot readers tell you guys that you need to heal, heal, heal. Well, I don't know if you guys know it or not, but I am an ordained spiritual minister and I have been for over 20 years. I do counseling, I do spiritual growth um, seminars all over the world. I have counseled some of the best of the best on their spiritual journeys. And I am so sick of hearing people say, after you've experienced a toxic person that you need to heal. No, you do not. Okay, because you experienced a toxic person, it simply means you need to be more discerning in the decisions that you make and follow your gut intuition. It doesn't mean anything is broken inside of you. It does not mean that you have unhealed wounds. It just means be careful and more discerning and the people that you choose to let into your life. It's that simple. Now, if you guys are going to keep going and listening to these people who are telling you that you need to heal this and you need to heal that, then you are going to be spinning your wheels for the rest of your life by yourself because it's going to keep you in fear and making you feel like you are not worthy of being with someone or that you're broken and there's absolutely nothing wrong with you. As I stated, this is a timeless collective reading. So if you found it, then it is definitely your message. And that's because you are stuck in this hamster wheel of a cycle constantly repeating the same things over and up over in life and in love and it's only because you're not using your intuition and knowing when you feel something that is not right about someone act on it leave them alone and move on to the next person it doesn't mean you're damaged it doesn't mean you need to heal it just means you need to be smarter in the decisions that you're making okay i'm gonna do this collective reading for you guys um, Spirit says, don't start with this, start with a different deck. I need to figure out what's going on with you guys. Um, because like I said, some of you guys are stuck because you have listened to way too many tarot readings and these people have had you guys going in circles and you don't know what to do. And I'm going to try to clear it up for you as much as I possibly can. Show me spirit, if you would, for the collective, what messages do you have for them? With regard to love, let me see. Let's see what we can come up with. Show me spirit. Give me a message for the collective spirit. What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know, spirit, with regard to love? For those that are tuning in to this message, it is a timeless message. So when you find it, like I said, it is meant for you to find. What has your inner voice been asking of you? Listen and act. This is not a healing thing. This is a listening thing. This is a learning from your situations. This is understanding where you currently are in life and where you want to go. This is you taking charge of your life and putting it on the path that you want it to go in. This is about you taking action. This has nothing to do with healing. None of you guys are broken. You all are just fine. Uh, again, I have a little bit of faith goes a long way remember that just remember that uh the divine the universe god spirit whoever it is that you believe is and is on your side just have a little faith that you can make the right decisions and make those tough decisions when you need to um, live your life with both feet in commit fully to being here so don't be wishy-washy commit to being present and available for whatever is happening in your life. If you want something major to happen, allow it to happen. My cards are bit. 
because I've used them so much. I do more personal readings than I do YouTube and the personal readings, the seminars and the coaching sessions, all of that stuff keeps me so busy that I don't get to upload to YouTube very often, but I do it because it's what um, God has, you know, ask of me to do and that's what I'm doing but I want to bring some clarity to you guys because I think some of you guys are stuck stuck at watching too much tarot and getting a whole bunch of wrong information and they do it because they want the views and they do it to keep you stuck and to keep you coming back some of you guys spirit is saying watch tarot 12 to 14 hours a day of your life it is what you wake up to. It's what you go to bed to. And there's no wonder you are confused. Show me more. Strong power. You tapped into reserves you didn't know you had. And they have helped you get to the next level. Spirit is saying some of you guys just need to believe in yourself. This is not a healing thing. Like I said, there's nothing broken inside of you. There's nothing that needs to be healed. Long journey. You have a long journey. Uh, excuse me. You have a long way to go, but it's a lovely trip. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. This is you opening up your heart and being accountable and present in what is happening in your life. Okay. Show me a little bit more spirit. What else do we have going on for the collective in love? You got a beautiful journey coming. Don't stress out about it because somebody's telling you you need to heal something. You don't need to heal anything. You just need to be open. Look at that. Soulmate popped out. You got a soulmate on, on the way. You have a soulmate in the making. A soulmate is on the way. Show me more. Third party. Interference, cheating, competition, mystery, uh, mistress. So some of you guys have a soulmate coming in, but you're connected to someone who has you in a third party. Um, spirit is saying, you know what you're dealing with. You don't need nobody to tell you. Your gut tells you when it's time to lay your head down at night. If you're tossing and turning worried about what your partner is doing, then you know something's not right. You don't need a tarot reader to tell you that your person is cheating on you. If you suspect it, then act on it as if that's what it is. Because guess what? If you're wrong, so what? You're off to a new start anyway. If you're right, so what? You're off to a new start anyway. The situation does not change either way. Understand that how you feel is important so if you feel they're cheating then they might as well be because you're still uncomfortable and you're still bothered and you're still torn and you're still miserable and you're still full of uh, agony and they're not the person for you because the person that is for you is going to relieve a lot of that anguish and a lot of that anxiety they're going to reassure you with action and with words that they're not the ones that you have to be worried about. So if you're with someone and even if they're not cheating, if they give you that uncertainty, they're not your person because your person is going to make for damn sure, excuse my language as a spiritual ordained minister. I do use profanity and I'm telling you the person that is for you is going to make damn sure that you don't feel that type of way. Okay. So someone is in a third party situation you need to pay attention because you already know you don't need a personal reading to tell you that but if you want one book one they, they gonna tell you you, you a, a personal reading is only going to tell you what your intuition has already been trying to tell you okay unfinished business so there is some unfinished business here with this person who has this third party. You may have already broken it off with them, but Spirit is saying you have a soulmate coming at the bottom of the deck wedding. If you let go of this person who has this third party, and you know who I'm talking about, I don't have to tell you. If you let go of this person, you'll have a soulmate and a wedding coming in if that is something that you desire. If you don't desire it, don't worry about it. But look at what I have at the bottom of the deck. The King of Pentacles 
and the six of swords. This is someone who's solid, stable, and grounded. This ain't no person that needs to be healed. This is your energy. This is earth energy. This is solid, stable, and grounded. This is you moving into calmer waters. You know what decisions you need to make. Stop making your life so hard and so complicated. It's not hard. You know what decisions you need to make. If you don't feel good about the situation that you're in, you know you need to make a decision. It may be one of the hardest decisions that you have to make, but you know it needs to be made. In order for you get to get to a point where you're happy again, you have to make a tough decision. Life is about making tough decisions. When you hate your job, you don't keep going in every day being miserable. Some do, but, but at some point, the rubber meets the road and you say, I gotta go. Or either they tell you, you got to go, but the situation ends just the same. So if you're miserable, make the choice to no, no longer be miserable. Okay? Show me more. Look at that. Five of Swords. Some of you guys are in mental conflict on whether or not you need to let this person with this third party go. Why? Because you chose them in love. That's Gemini energy. The Five of Swords is... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So some of you guys are dealing with uh, those signs. There is a tower moment here. Something has happened that has put you in a tailspin with this person. And then I still have the six of swords. You know, you need to move on. You know, you need to move on. You're in this hangman energy because you're trying to contemplate. Do I need to stay? Do I need to go? And the moon card is here saying, that there's a still a lot of hidden things that this person with this third party is not telling you. And at the bottom of the deck, spirit is saying, move forward. Own. Move on. You ain't got to do no healing. Move on. And don't deal with another joker like this. If they cannot make you feel secure, and if they cannot give you a peace of mind... When they're not in your presence and if they don't make you happy and if they don't make your heart sing, they're not the right person. This uncertainty, this unclarity, this is it, is it, or is it not, or what, that is utter confusion. That don't need to be healed. That need to be reconciled. That needs to be you taking a stand on saying, I know what is good and I know what is bad and I know what hurts me and I know what doesn't and I'm not dealing with anything else that hurts me. Okay, show me more spirit about this current situation for the collective. Show me more. Six of swords. It keeps popping out. It keeps telling you you need to move forward. There's an emperor waiting on you when you move forward there is an emperor or there whether it's masculine or feminine there is a boss waiting on you to love you to be there for you to take care of you this is aries energy doesn't mean they have to be an aries but they can embody that boss type energy here it is right here is your soulmate. okay show me more Six of Cups, soulmate energy. Told you. It's not a person from your past. It's a soulmate. Show me the potential outcome of this new person once the collective lets go of this old person. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this because y'all already know what y'all need to do. Okay? Show me, um, show me the potential outcome of this situation with this new person. Justice. It, it's going to be, it's going to be what you deserve. It's going to be a, a balancing of scales. It is going to be all things being equal in your life. It is going to be things in your life coming full circle on what you deserve as a person. I have also the uh, King of Wands, another fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This person means business. This person is someone that you can rely on, that you can trust, whether it's femi uh, feminine or masculine energy. You can trust this person with your heart and with your mind. Strength card, Leo. Um, this person is very strong and determined to be who they need to be and who you need them to be. This person is going to meet you where you are. They're going to 
um, be someone who is going to lift you up in the areas that you are weak and you're going to be able to support them in the areas that they're weak and you guys being solid and stable in the areas where you both meet each other and then in the areas where one excels or one um, has more strength, the other will make up the difference um, in coming in and learning from the other. This is a partnership made um, by the divine and then the ten of wands. You're walking away from this tough, crazy foolishness because you realize what true happiness is. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have the chariot. Spirit is saying it's time to move. It's time to make a decision on where you want your life to be. Are you going to continue to watch tarot readings all day and be utterly confused about somebody telling you you need to heal? Or are you just going to make the decision to move your life forward and let the divine bring in who you deserve? You've done the healing work. You've done everything. There's nothing wrong with you loving someone and opening your heart and them hurting you. Meaning it is something wrong with them hurting you, but it's nothing wrong with the fact that you opened your heart to someone that vulnerability is what is needed and necessary to be in a successful relationship so for someone to say oh they hurt you so you need to go and heal no because that would only cause you to close off your heart and god universe spirit is nothing but love okay and i am a firm believer i have felt it for 20 years on my spiritual journey, love conquers all. And it has proven nothing but to be true this entire time that I've lived my life. So I'm telling you, there's movement that needs to happen. You got to close out this tough cycle. You guys know this. There's a King of Cups right here who says there's a lot of love waiting for you with this King of Wands or this Emperor if you just go ahead and close out this cycle. So I'm going to get um, some Angel answer messages for you guys really quick and then i'm going to close this out i know you guys are probably going to be mad at me and i don't know why because i'm only trying to help you guys but i think a lot of times there's nothing but a bunch of utter confusion on um the internet and it keeps people stuck and i don't like it and it makes me mad every time i see it um so show me what do i need to know it's up to you. Spirit is saying it's up to you. Either you're going to move forward in this situation and get what you deserve, or you're going to stay stuck in this connection with this previous person and relive this situation all over again. Peaceful resolutions are ahead if you choose to move forward because there is something new for you. Um, and it says within the next few weeks, you'll meet this person after you choose to surrender this situation and move forward at the bottom of the deck. I have, if you believe, if you believe, then it will all come to pass. So you are the ruler of your own destiny. You get to chart your own direction and what you want and what you desire, you shall have. That is what I will teach you as a spiritual leader. Whatever it is that you want, you shall have if you believe. Okay, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it brings you peace clarity and direction. As I stated, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you find it, it is meant for you to find. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will upload on YouTube when I can. And when I can't, I can't. And that's all I have for you guys. I'm sending you much love and much healing for all of you guys. I don't need you to go do any healing. I'm sending you the healing energy your way. Um, take care. And I'll see you on the next one.